everybody. So today I'm going to do a review of the NASB Classic Reference Bible. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then stay tuned. So again, we're looking at the NASB Classic Reference Bible, and this one is the 1995 edition of the text. It is in the brown genuine leather, which is a buffalo leather does have over 17,000 translator notes and it also has the NASB comfort print. Comes in a nice clamshell box. I like how this section is smooth and then we've got a little bit of texture on the top and the bottom and it's got like a wood grain look to it. So a really nicely done clamshell box. I'll hold that right there so you can pause and read that top section if you would like. And then we'll drop down to the features. I do want to point just a few of them out. So we'll have our brown buffalo leather with the raised hubs. It's a sewn and edge line binding. It's red letter. We've got the expanded set of cross references and 17,000 translator notes. 14 in text charts and maps. We'll have two ribbons. It's art gilded with the gold gilt line. It's a 9.5 font and the text on this one is line match. So a lot of really nice features for a Bible in this price range. There's our ISBN number. This one does retail for $129.99. Right now you can pick one up for right around $88 to $89. So for that price, that is a really good deal for a Bible that is this nice with this many features. This particular Bible measures out at 8 and 7 eighths inches tall, 5 and 7 eighths inches wide. It is an inch and a quarter thick. So we've got brown head and tail bands. We've got our gold gilding, our brown buffalo leather, it is perimeter stitched and it's got a really nice grain pattern as you can see on there. That is a really pretty leather. On the spine we've got Holy Bible, NESB, and Zondervan. And then we do have the raised hubs. So really a nice looking Bible. Very portable, great size. So if you're looking for a really nice NASB with a ton of features, this is one worth looking at. So on the inside, we'll have our gold gilt line. It is stamped buffalo leather cover. This liner is tabbed up onto the block, so it is edge lined. These first few pages, make sure you do not pull those apart. We will have our presentation page. Then we get into our title pages. Again, this one is the 1995 edition of the text. This one was printed in China. So we will have our contents page. We'll have the foreword that's got the scriptural promise as well as the fourfold aim of the Lachman Foundation. We've got a preface, the principles of translation, an explanation of the general format, and then the abbreviations and special markings. And one thing that you'll see, even though this is pretty stiff right through here, you can see that we're not even into the actual Bible text yet and it is laying completely open for me. But we'll get into Genesis. Now each book is going to start with a book introduction. It will go over the title and background, the author and date of the writing, the theme and message, and then it will also have an outline. We will have a double column layout with all of our center column references. Whenever that center column is not enough space, then they'll be at the bottom right of the page. We don't see too much of that in the Old Testament. We see that more in the New Testament. So the font on this one is going to be the 9.5, so I will get you a close-up of the text. And again, it is line matched, so nice and readable, easy on the eyes. You can see that the cross references are readable. And this is a 9.5, but it reads closer to other fonts that are like a 9-point font. So keep that in mind, because the comfort print is designed a little bit different. Now, on the back of the box where it mentions 14 in-text charts and maps. I would have loved to have seen them put something on the inside somewhere that says where they're at. I couldn't find anything, so I'm not sure that, that maybe I just missed it. But we will look at a few of those so you can see that we've got a map here of Jacob's journey. Then we've got a Hebrew calendar and selected events. So to have a Bible that's this portable with 17,000 translator notes, tons of cross-references, to have some of these added features in it, that is really nice. 
we've got the Old Testament sacrifices. Then we've got David's family tree. And the more we get into this, the more you can see how nice that art gilding looks with that gold gilt line. I think that looks really good. We've got a two-page spread here that's got the rulers of the divided kingdom of Israel and Judah. So it's nice that it's got that as well. And then we've got another map, Return from Exile. And right there you can really see how nice that art gilding and the gilt line looks. So great size. It's also perfect for holding with one hand if you're sitting upright reading in bed. Really a nicely done Bible. So we're going to look at our first of two ribbons. This one is a brown color. It is a wider ribbon, double-sided satin. It is cut well. And one other thing that I do like is it is long enough to use. So I do like that. I'll show you both of the ribbons up against the cover so you can see the colors of both of these. I think they did a really nice job with the color combination on this one. So really a nicely done Bible. Perfect if you're looking for one for daily carry to take with you. And this is the translation of choice because you can read and study from this all day long with all these references in it. So I'll get you a close up here with the Psalms and how those are laid out. I'm not sure on the paper what the GSM of the paper is, but it does have a nice feel to it. We'll get back to the New Testament. We will see that between the Old and the New Testament, we do have a chart from Malachi to Christ. So I do like that it's got that in there. I think that all Bibles should have something similar to that. We've got the second of our two ribbons. This one is the gold one. Again, double-sided satin, the wider ribbon, and long enough to use. So it's always nice when we do get two of them. We get into the New Testament. Again, we'll start with our book introduction. And then as I flip through the New Testament, you'll see that there's going to be more cross-references that spill onto the other part of the page. Also, right here and so you'll have translator notes references and all of that in there but the new testament is just full of references so we'll get a close-up of our red letter so it is a very nice shade of red everything on there looks really nice i personally like a red letter bible as long as the shade of red is done well so we do have another map. This one is countries of people mentioned at Pentecost, and it's right where it talks about that in the book of Acts. So that's actually a really neat little map. So I like that it's got these little added features in this one. We'll get back to the back of Revelation. We'll see that it is red letter all the way through to the end. And then we will get into the concordance. It is a three-column layout. All the words are going to be done in bold. So even though it's a small print, it is very readable. The concordance is going to be 98 pages. So really good size for a Bible that is this size. We've got a note regarding the type, which is done by 2K Denmark. And I personally really love the comfort print fonts. We will have seven maps spread out onto eight pages. They are going to be on the glossy paper, but they're very readable. One thing we can see here in the gutter is we've got some stitching, so nicely done sewn binding. And this map here, the Jesus' ministry map, this one is really neat because we've got all of these little text bubbles that gives us different locations of where things took place. So we see where he turned water into wine, where the Sermon on the Mount was, where he predicted his death where he ascended to heaven, where he was born. So it's really a neat map. So I'll pan down that so you can see that a little bit better. I think that one is just really neat. Then we get to our two-page spread. Again, everything's super readable. Then we just get back to the back of the Bible. It does have the ISBN number stamped on the back. But a really nice grain pattern. Again, 
nice hand size type of Bible take with you wherever on the go which is nice so this one would be a great gift and the more I use it I think the more and more flat it will lay I don't have any issues with it staying open at all about the only thing that I would probably change would be to maybe get rid of the margin space and just move the text over so I'll show you what I mean by that so the lines right here represent where the text is if that was just moved over then the majority of that text would be on the flat portion of the page and it would prevent that from going into the gutter but that tends to be an issue especially with bibles that are a little bit smaller because they are such a smaller footprint but again it's super readable i don't have any issues with that it's not distracting enough to me for it to be an issue but i just wanted to point that out in case that is something that might bother you so again, this has been the NASB Classic Reference Bible in Brown Buffalo. And as always, there will be links down in the description box. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great day.